Okay, okay, the object of the didn't chill out, didn't. Watch hero. What's up, everyone? This is Jeff from the Overwatch team. Juice. We're here Thanks with the an streams awesome and entertainment PVC. Update. This one's going to be a bit of a surprise for you all Thanks, because we have a brand new feature coming to Overwatch and one that's really exciting to us. So the feature is called the workshop and the workshop is coming to the game browser. Now I know there's hey, immediately a ton of questions smile. about what is the workshop. The workshop is a scripting mode that will allow you to make custom Lab game modes Goblin. within the custom game browser, but also allow you to do really cool things like, for example, you could even prototype your Can't own Overwatch you hero smile. using this system. No, so I'll give you a little bit of, of history about how we came up with this idea. We have two amazing programmers, one by the Nine name of Dan and one by the tree name very of uncool. Keith. And we gave them some free time to work on whatever they wanted. And these two programmers were really familiar with working with our scripting system that we use to make the game. And they said, wow, it would be super cool if we gave the players some of the power that we have as programmers and as game developers okay. to make whatever they could come up with, wherever their imaginations would take them. So Keith and Dan, put a custom layer of interface. Who the fuck is Keith and Dan? And a custom scripting system on top of the one that we use to make the game so that all of you on both PC and console can start creating your own game modes. So the system is really powerful and I have to warn you up front. Chat, this is where, this is where the game starts going downhill. They probably had the tools to make this a long time ago but they didn't do it. Because they want, they want people to keep playing the game the way it's meant to be, to be played, right? But at this point, the game will literally go downhill because people will make their own game modes. That will be 26 billion times more fun than the main game. Front. This is more of what I would call a power user feature. The people that I think the this fuck? will speak to most immediately are people with some experience with other scripting engines that are available publicly on the internet or people with programming backgrounds. Really, anybody who understands the logic of game making and how game events are sort of chained together will have an easier time creating things. Now, Keith and Dan have done a really good job of making the feature as accessible to everyone as possible. Hell yeah. And we like also me. plan on putting a special forum up on the Blizzard website that allows you to interact with us and ask us some questions on how to use it. But you, you might be wondering, like, examples of some of the things that you could make. Um, and we're going to put some examples into the custom game browser so that way you can open up modes that we've already made and see exactly how they were made and start tweaking them yourselves and sort of adjusting different variables to have different outcomes. So uh, one, one mode that's, that's uh, really fun and we look forward to uh -oh. seeing, you know, you kind of tweak and do your own thing with we call the molten floor. And in this mode, anytime a character is on the ground, they catch on fire. So you can imagine how fun a game mode could be with characters like Farah and Lucio who have the ability to stay off the ground. Um, you could make something really interesting and okay. special there. We, we see a lot of you trying to create modes like hide and seek in, in the game browser. And now you can make much more powerful versions of hide and seek. And then we have we have a game mode that I just think is awesome and we'll probably include in the arcade at some point called Mirror Deathmatch. And Mirror Deathmatch I think is really fun. And, and what that does is it's free for all deathmatch, but every character, every, every player in the map plays the same character for one minute. So for one minute, we're all McCree. Okay, I'll do it, dude. If you're gonna put a workshop, dude, that's amazing, dude. Like, the possibilities are infinite, right? But if you're gonna use workshop to make mirror deathmatch, dude. Then Jesus. it switches over, and next thing you know, we're all Hanzo, and then it switches over, and we're all Ash. So it's a much more balanced version 
of uh, free for all deathmatch. Something that I've read uh, on the forums and in social media from all of you is that you love mystery heroes, but some of you would like to have a version that you call balanced mystery heroes. And you've talked about, <laughs> you know, what if mystery heroes had- That's what the devil has been trying to play for fucking the last three years, dude. Had a certain number of tanks and a certain number of supports. So at any time, the two teams were relatively balanced, even though that there was random heroes happening. Well, with the workshop, you could create that exact mode now. And you can decide, do you want one tank or two tanks or three tanks or, you know, one support, two support, it, it's really up to you. And it's very easy once you set up the mode to change some of those variables. Now, for those of you who are familiar with game logic and scripting or familiar with programming, you'll know that as you're working on creating something custom like this, you often need to go through and find out why it's working or not working just the way you intended. And uh, programmers in the audience will, will understand what I'm talking about when I say you need a debugger, something to help you find any issues that you've created in, in your script. Well, luckily the workshop is coming with what we call Workshop Inspector, which is a custom debugger that will allow you to run your game mode and it will report back to you why certain things are happening, or sometimes it's even more important to know why aren't they happening. You know, you expect a certain thing to happen, and it's That's not. That's crazy. Um, so we think that will be uh, really cool too and really helpful for you. One of my biggest hopes is I, I know this is a power user feature, and there's some technical knowledge needed to use it. But my hopes is that some of you have never gotten to play around with with creating game modes and creating game logic, or maybe prototyping a hero. This can be the first time that you can open up one of the existing scripts that we have, take a look at it in the workshop, and start to learn how we made it, and maybe you'll realize that you too could be a game developer someday and you can make really cool stuff. So we're hoping that this opens up a whole new wide array of game modes that the community is gonna create and that there'll be some really fun stuff out there for all of you. Now, I, I also need to put this in the right context. This isn't a map editor. You won't be able to create custom geometry or import art into the Fuck, game. Fuck, man! Did imagine if we made our own maps, dude. It mainly allows you to control the game logic behind game modes and what's happening with different heroes. But trust me, it's ex extremely powerful. And we expect you and are very excited for all of you to do great things. So we hope you enjoy it. All of the work that you create on the PTR is going to be able to be copied over using a, a share function that we're adding. And the share function is really cool because um, previously, if you had a really good rule set in custom game, it wasn't trivial to share that. Um, now you'll be able to generate a code um, and okay. put that code in, whether it's on PC or console, and it works on, on both both of those and create this uh, custom game uh, all over again that you've either gotten from somebody else or created yourself. So we're extremely excited to see what you all do with this. We hope it opens up a whole new world of Overwatch to you all and we hope you love and enjoy the workshop. Thank Thanks man. Thanks Jeff dude. Much love dude. Um... Leg's QC less than three. Chat just Holy shit! You spoil Yo, but you know, banned from Twitch at a damaging poverty. And assaulting Andy's guests. The fuck? Invites you up and some others. XQC smash. Andy's chat is told it's cool to show up. He and Andy had a hug once before and was drinking with them for a few hours. The guy boots up his stream, I guess, and doesn't tell you about it. Dude, that's kind of fucked though, is it not? Is that, is that kind of weird though? Nobody else seems to mind. Watch this PVC. Wait, how's it not weird? What? Yep. He a custom outside? That's kind of weird though. Shows rage. Pushes him, what the fuck? Jesus, dude. What do a disgusting person? <laughs> Fuck the lady clips. Fuck the lady clips, dude. The lady clips, dude. Another pog stats video. Don't weird champ me or I murder you. Smile, smile, smile. XQCL. Yo, what's up, my idiot? Hey. Hey, hey, dude. L. No, I'm not, I'm not allowed to watch a mirror. Because I'll give... I did it. What the fuck am I doing with my life? XNXXQC. If somebody is banned, I can't watch this video. Oh, oh. Oh. 
Oh, nice content. Nice content. Oh, Hosu is stuck. Hosu is broken. What? What? Ryu? Ryu is stuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop it, stop it. Don't do anything, okay? It said like, if you don't... Nothing, then it will open. For sure. Open! It will open, this moment. Open. 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 What? Just a moment. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you could be locked. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> okay, guys, l l guys, listen, dude, 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 dude. I'm not, I'm not the most intelligible, okay, and socially aware. But if if somebody's streaming and says, uh, yeah, if you guys want to like show up, like whatever, like I don't mind. And like some guys like come up and like ask like pictures and shit. That's fine, dude. But if they boot up their streams and shit, that's just, that's just kind of weird, dude. Like, what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck, man? That's just odd. Is it not odd? It's all deleted, man. I want to watch, dude. Effort. Stop doing this cringe, adding another layer of black frame shit. It's really fucking shit and low effort. We're already being removed for low effort because you're all just using it as a karma farm. Stop. Go back to r slash dank memes. Mm. Fucking humor police. <laughs> Fucking Reddit mods look like God mid twenty fat retards sitting at their goddamn three monitor computers with a bunch of fucking shit all over their desk with their RGB keyboard acting like they know how fucking humor works on the internet all the fucking True. time. True. <laughs> guys, what the fuck? This guy's a fucking launch pad, a sound filter, dude, a DSLR, dude. Our mic pop filter, dude, juicer, fucking three monitors, stream deck angle, double computer, dude, printer shit. Dude, what the fuck, man? Yo, these motherfuckers be crazy. Rip Iron Man, he died in Endgame Frown. Wait, what the fuck? Amber Alert, child abduction. Melina! Oh, just making sure you're still here. <laughs> ah, dude. Done, dude. Done.